Well, first tonight, prisoners are running their own TV channel at a private jail with programmes piped into hundreds of cells at Loudham Grange in Nottinghamshire. We've been given exclusive access to see how inmates are making documentaries, dramas and even cookery shows. The channel's also recruited an imam to challenge religious extremism. Well, it's all designed to teach inmates valuable skills and staff say it helps to keep the prison safe. Our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball reports. Um, so let's get started now. Watching TV in a prison cell. If you think that's controversial, what do you make of this? That looks amazing. Asif's tuned into a show that stars inmates here. They're reviewing computer games on a channel called Inside TV. We've agreed to disguise some prisoners to protect their victims. I didn't believe it until I seen it. I didn't understand what they meant. You've got your own TV channel. You'll get somebody playing chess on it, or you'll, you've got quite a few, few uh, magic programs. People who want to do a bit of magic. It gives me an ear regarding training, gym information. It makes you feel safe, as in you know what you're doing yourself. If you see someone in immediate distress, you should place them in the recovery position as shown. This documentary is designed to save lives. It's about the dangers of synthetic drugs. I've never had no mental issues and this stuff. I ended up getting sectioned on it. Like I've seen people swimming on the floor. I've seen people barking like dogs. Then we're going to place this back into the microwave for another five minutes. And this is the jail's cookery show. We can drain off the fish that we left to one side earlier. Their programmes are all being made behind bars here at Loudon Grange. And just come in and look at how they do it. This is the prison's very own television studio. Hey, Sarge, how are you doing? You really want to say it's bad, don't you? No, no, I can no, see no, it in no, your face. Today, these honest. two prisoners are being filmed recording a comedy script. Well, I'll sing then. You can listen to this tune. They get uh, valuable communication skills and they actually uh, get a qualification out of working in the inside media area. And then the second benefit is for the, uh, the prison in general, which is it, it helps us to be able to communicate effectively with the prisoner population here. Some people are going to say, though, look, prisoners come here to get punished, not to make television programmes. Actually, the punishment is sending people to prison and the courts do that. Our job is to rehabilitate them. And part of that rehabilitation journey has got to be about giving them skills, giving them hopes and aspirations so that when they're released from prison, they're less likely to commit crime. He breaks into my home. He steals my stuff. This drama uses actresses to show the victim's perspective. This is a show about a military veteran who suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder. And if the prison goes into lockdown, staff here can type a news flash that runs across the bottom of the screen. It's made a massive difference. Before, prisoners would become frustrated. You know, they want to be out doing the, the different activities, going to work. So if there is any disruption, they know exactly what's happening. They're less likely to kick off and cause any kind of violence. It's really beneficial in uh, calming the, the population. And back in his cell, Asif's a fan of the channel's religious programme. All aspect of fasting. This qualified imam is helping to challenge Islamist extremism by prisoners. I know my religion, but a lot of people who are converting into Islam and that, uh, they can pick up the information from a third hand, which isn't really sometimes great. Here we've got the imam on the inside channel who goes through it, step by step, explains to you what this religion is and how, how it works and you know what, what's required of it. Now Asif's joined Inside TV where he's been learning how to produce videos and hoping that can help make him an honest living when he's eventually released from jail. Jeremy Ball, BBC's Midlands Today at Loudham Grange.